I actually got this from um, from the Carlton Club. Yeah. When I heat it up, oh, it's yeah. there. Yeah. It'll melt around hole. Yay! And then just put that over it. So that's it. Bag. So it can breathe. That, so you've got the left, leftover straw pellets from the bank that's now currently hanging outside. Yep. You've got the leftover actual straw from the log yep. that we've got okay. hanging over there. And then we've got this. This was the straw, but it was refreshed, if you remember, yep. using cold pasteurised beets chips. Mm -hmm. Babes. Yeah, we Just a quick update of how they're all doing. That, the uh, straw log we did on Sunday seems to be doing very well. There's lines, mate, and it's starting to pin at the top, actually. So when that's fully colonised, you're going to put holes in it and in. Yeah. So in theory, if you get your hands right, you could just twist off the whole thing. All right. Thing. Oh, that's that's like that. Brutus Ostriatus variety, yeah. the lot, which is the blue one. And here is... Oysters going absolutely crazy. They're loving this. They've eaten the whole lot, really. That's one week in, guys. Come on, guys. Put your massages. Garlic. Actually, she didn't want me to put it on there. And uh, Patrick will tell you about the nematodes in the soil and how it's going to help things grow or something like that. Yeah, so all the uh, all the blocks are gone now. Um, yes, you have to uh, there was actually mushrooms dry, growing, but because uh, the weather is clement, and uh, hopefully see you as soon as this electrician shows up. All right, see you in a bit. The whole plastic needs reshifting, doesn't it? We're at ninety percent humidity on this side, ninety there. Well, we've made progress.